Hi, I'm Stephen Crony. Thanks again for joining me for another painting demonstration. Uh, this one, I've, uh, this is another Kingsbury Water Park. I've been revisiting some of my old photographs. I've got to get up there um, soon, get some more pictures. I've quite missed the place actually. I don't think I've been there since we moved out, it's about four years ago. But yeah, another one in portrait format. I'm, I'm quite liking this new folks. I was doing them all in landscape mode uh, format before. It's nice to mix it up, uh, have a change. So, for, before I go any further, let me show you the, the photograph I've been using. This photograph I took a few years ago now in uh, Kingsbury Water Park. Um, luckily, it was quite a bright day, so we've got plenty of light coming through the scene. Nice little reflection there on the water, and then some dark tree trunks here in the foreground, framing the scene quite nicely. So, let's have a go at this one. So let's get going in with a big eight brush. Bit of water all the way over the paper, and then I'm going to go just a bit of raw sienna. Put that down there. Bit of ultramarine. Come out here that side. From the right, bit from the left. Tell me about the full paint, uh, the paint will the paper. I'm just leaving that sort of central area where the uh, the light's gonna, gonna glow in. Be bad, but I'll just stop the paint from coming down and then I want to get those reflections. So I'm going to go a bit of raw sienna, a bit of ultramarine. So I'm coming about two thirds of the way down. And I'm pulling the reflections down, just mixing between the two colours, alternating. Put the reflections down as I go along. A little bit small on this side. Something like that. And then some places you can just about see little tree trunks and things growing. And just, just the odd trunk here and there. All our new reflections at the same time. Got one in there as well. <clears throat> down the reflections. Down there. Down there. Down there. Down there. Down there. Now what I might do. Brush there, just pull us, just pull a bit of a water line through there. Keep it nice and square. And I've gone completely. A little bit of water dripping down there, so I'll just dry that. Let's dry the old thing. I just want that water on, just a little bit lighter in the middle. So again. Get a clean, straight brush. I'm just trying to pull that out a, bit, a little bit better than that. Oh dear. 
That'll do. Right, and now on this side, on the right hand side, up to that there, we've got a tree, maybe just up there, coming down to about there. I'm starting off with the lighter, a bit of raw sienna, also lemon yellow, and then added a bit of ultramarine for the darker sections. Bring that in there, something like that. And also in there, you can add a few little tree trunks. I'm doing a bit of brown, a bit of blue, bit more water. Brown. That's in there. Right, let's just come down into this right immediate foreground. That's some darks down there, muddy, muddy banks. Let's just switch that around a little bit. I can just about see some little pebbles and things with the light reflecting off them. So I'm just going to put those in there as well. Just trying to keep it subtle. Something like that. Let's stick one there like that as well. And also, I'm going to stick this big, some of these big trunks in there. Now they go right up off the top of the page. Let's just make sure it's flat first before I start putting these full ground trunks in. So these want to be really, really dark. So I might have to go over them a couple of times just to get that, that really dark tone. I'm just going to see how it goes. Just dip the tip of the water, just dip the tips of the hairs in the water, just bring all the hairs back together, loosen the paint up. So we've got a nice dark mix. I'm just getting burnt on that, ultramarine. Right in there, this one's coming somewhere from down there. Let's just give it off. I'm trying to keep it fairly, fairly thin and it sweeps around there like that. There's another one. This is coming up there. Something like that. I'll finish these off with the with the rigger brush in a minute. So we'll get in there. Put that down like that. Let's put that rigger brush into the same same mix. So we're making a long way across there, like. A load of twigs and branches and things. I'm cutting across there, across the top. One there stops somewhere at about there. Again, just I'll put the folio job in a minute. I'm just putting like the sort of the skeleton sort of structure of it. There's one that just bends, bends right round like that. That's enough of that. Now we've got another, the, the big closest tree trunk we've got is in the right in the left foreground. So again, just reload the brush brown, blue. Enough water just to keep all the hairs together. So the hairs are just staying together, but there's no water swishing around the palette. And this one, it's sort of it's coming out there like that and it's going. There like that, it's just swirling round. It's just... It's 
switch to the make a brush and there's a whole load of twigs and branches and things growing and it's coming from out of shot Let's put some uh, let's get some leaves on there. What about that? Let's just give that a quick dry. Clean the brush, I'm just going to squeeze the water out from the floor of it into the jar. And just spread all the hairs out in all different directions, just throw it nice random strokes. I'm going to start with a bit of, a bit of raw sienna, lemon yellow, loosening some of that paint. It's going. So I'll get some nice dollops, nice dollops in there. I'm going to work my way. Starting off with the lights, the light colours. Now I'm adding a bit of ultramarine to the mix. You see how it darkens it. And then what I'll do, I'll add a, some raw sienna and some uh, Payne's grey just to darken it. Even further, let's give me some pines grey, some lemon yellow, pines grey. A few foreground reeds and things just going down there. twigs and branches there, just, just to try and keep it as subtle as I can out of doing it. I think that's all I need for that. What I might do is just darken some of these trunks. I'm going back to brown, blue, dark mix. Just make this even darker. Do that with the rigger. Same mix, spray and blue, nice and dark. I'm just giving over some of these again. Get a 
few more branches on this. Few little things just flick it off. Bit more water, plenty of paint and water. Going down the bottom. I think I think I might just finish it off. Just Just want some of these leaves to come in front in front of this trunk. going to finish it off. There's not a boat in the reference picture but I just want, want to use one as a as a focal point. So I'm just going to find a clean bit of this tissue. And I'm get me rig a brush. I need to dry this first actually. At least this bit so I don't get me paint, get me hands all over it. wetting this section, just taking out like a triangular piece. It's quite tall, so I want it to, I want it to stand out a little bit. So there's the top bit, take, take that off with the tissue. And then pop the reflection down below. Same again, but underneath. And just one little dark. Half of the right there. I think I'm almost there now. I'm just going to add. Let's see what it looks like with the mains on it. So we've got the finished painting in the main, so let's have a closer look. Starting off with the sky, got a sort of raw sienna, might, well raw sienna initially, raw the way down into the centre. Might have worked better if I'd have just done the, the side slightly darker maybe, just to try and capture that, the light that's more in the reference photo. I think I should have just, if I just brushed the sides in a little bit darker, darker blue, maybe added a bit of Payne's grey, it might have got a better glow, but not, 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 not the end of the world. Uh, compositionally, very, I haven't really changed anything. Kept it all pretty much the same, really. Um, so after the sky, the first thing to do was these trees on the horizon line. So, same two colours as the sky, ultramarine and raw sienna. Pulled down the reflections at the same time, then pulled in this sort of water line there with a dry brush. Added a, a boat, so I think it needed a focal point. See in the reference photo, those foreground tree trunks are sort of silhouetted against that light sky. 
So I've tried to paint these as dark as I could. Took a couple of a couple of layers to get it nice and dark. Then lots of lots of uh, rigor work. All the twigs and the branches, and then see these leaves across. Most of the leaves on the top there. Started off with a lighter raw sienna and lemon leaf, the yellow ones. Then I had a bit of ultramarine and then Payne's grey. Just get the darker leaves. Used a dry brush, so I'm not sort of blocking it all. And you can still see see the sky through the gaps in the in the leaves and the twigs and branches. And then down there, you can just about see some of the those rocks and things with the light just catching the edges. So I've just scraped in the odd rock here. Might have been more effective if I sort of darkened this foreground area a bit more, but maybe next time. So that's my impression of uh, Kingsbury Water Park, somewhere I'd like to go very, very soon, go get some more reference photos. But thanks for watching, hope you was painting along with me. Um, any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.